Welcome back to Irvine and welcome back to Rams Camp Live, presented by Unify Financial Credit Union. I'm JB Long. DeMarco Farr is back from yes, Canton, Ohio in a Hall of Fame celebration. Isaac, wow, what a speech. What a weekend. Everyone needs to go to the Hall of Fame, man. That was so much fun. So well, much fun. More to come on that. I want to get your reaction mm -hmm. to that weekend. Let's welcome Terrell Burgess, second year safety from your Los Angeles Rams to the stage. And uh, for our audience here in person, go ahead and give Terrell a nice round of applause. <laughs> How you doing? doing Coming well. into year two. Doing well, doing well. Excited to get back out with the team and compete. I mean, it must feel bizarre to have gone through your rookie offseason and training camp the way it was last year, oh. and now to come back to this experience and uh, this Saturday, SoFi Stadium full of fans for the first time. Yeah, it'll be nice. I'm, I'm very excited. It's, it's weird. You know, you never really think that you uh, play for fans until there's not fans in the stands. Yeah, right. So I'm excited to see the fans in the stands this weekend. It'll be a good, good weekend. You know, uh, watching your secondary through training camp, man, it, it's, a, it's a hunt for reps. I mean, there's jobs to be had, and it's... It seems like the whole room is deep. I mean, how's training camp going for you from that standpoint, competing with everyone? I think it's going well. I think we have a. I think it's a good problem to have right now. I think we have a lot of guys that can play in different different spots. So I think uh, I'm excited to see the way the competition goes up going into the season. How about you, year two? Like you said, uh, yes, the game slowing down for you. I mm, mean, definitely the call to the play to the reaction slowing down for you. Yeah, definitely. I think the more the more reps you take, the more uh, the easier it gets uh, in regards to you know how the play comes to you and you know just just executing the right way. Have you allowed your mind to wander to Sunday Night Football, September the 12th, against the Chicago Bears? Given where your rookie season ended, what <laughs> might it be like to kick off 2021 against them? Pick for a touchdown to win the game. I'm uh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> that, that'd be great. I'm, I'm definitely going to be excited. Uh, my sister, if I let my sister tell us, she won't let me play in the game because I got hurt in the game last year. But I'm definitely excited to get back out there and play with, the, play with my guys and uh, get, a, get a win. So she's a superstitious type. Uh, a little bit. A little will bit. she be there in person? She definitely probably will be lost. You'll be all right. Yeah. You know, you'll be all right. You know, uh, it's funny. This training camp was the first time I actually like watched quarterbacks go through drills. I mean, this might be the this might be the first time I actually wanted to see a guy in drills. Mm -hmm. What's it been like for you to defend Matthew Stafford? Mm -hmm. It's been fun to watch. What's it like for you watching him during the play? I think it's great. Uh, obviously, I grew up watching Matthew Stafford play for the Lions, so I'm excited to be able to go against him in practice every day. He's a, he's a great quarterback. He can move. He can throw the ball, put it in any spot. So it's going to be great competition all year long. Is, is that weird? Like you, you go from watching the guy to like trying to defend him? I think, uh, you know, if you grow up wanting to play in the NFL, I think that's what you, you dream of, playing against people that you watch on TV. So, yeah. As the story goes, uh, one of the nights that the Rams became really interested in Terrell Burgess was against USC mm. uh, at the Coliseum when your youths came to town. And I think he played every position in the secondary in that game against a lot of future pros. Uh, as you come into year two, are you still that Swiss Army knife? Do you have a sense of what will be asked of you this season in Raheem Morris's defense? I think uh, all you can do is play uh, add, add value wherever you can. And that's why I tell the coaches all the time, anywhere that they want me to play, I will play. And Excited to get out there and compete. Yeah, there's no, there's not a no in your vocabulary, right? Can you play safety? Yes. Can you play corner? Absolutely. <laughs> right. Just yeah. get it done, right? I mean, if I have to do it, got to do it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and what a defense! I, I think we've had how many defensive guys have we had? Half a couple. A dozen, yeah. I mean, how lucky are you? I have to say this. Uh, you mm -hmm. got AD in front and Jalen out to one side or the other. Mm -hmm. How much fun is that for you as oh. a, as a defense as as a DB? Oh, it's great. I mean, knowing that you know the the rush will probably hit home every play is it's great. So it's nice being able not to have to cover so long. Uh, I want to ask you about Jordan Fuller, who's mm -hmm. wearing the green dot, who's calling this defense. I know your defensive back group is, is pretty tight. <laughs> I have a couple of follow-ups about this, but. After he was on with us, our observation is, is he that quiet on the field? Like, can he call an NFL defense if he doesn't speak up? What's he like out there? He, it's funny because he's a quiet guy. I mean, but he's he's more talkative than people think he is. So he definitely, he'll, he'll do a great job with the game. He can guy. project his yeah, voice definitely. enough for all. Ten of you to hear? Yeah, I definitely yeah, believe I, so. I don't hear you unless you bark. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, no, I, Especially I agree. when I got the helmet on. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. David, David Long Jr. is part of that group that I know you have a lot of fun with, too. And, and earlier this offseason, he described you as a national treasure. <laughs> <laughs> what did he mean? In what way is Terrell Burgess uh, a national treasure? I don't know. I, I feel like, you know, there's, there's just a lot of things that go on, you know, on the field, off the field, that people just think that, Maybe a little out of the ordinary, but I don't think it's anything's out of the ordinary. So that's what, what he means, but nothing too crazy, I wouldn't say. Can you share personal goals like you set for yourself in the offseason? I know one, I guess, would be stay healthy. Yes, And definitely. then beyond that, what would be your personal goals? Um, obviously, personal goals, I, 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 try, I do my best not to do anything like individual. You know, I'm, I'm a team player, so anything I can do to help the team win is what I'm shooting for. That's the right answer. <laughs> 
when you weren't honing your craft this off season, you were on the microphone. You made uh, a television broadcast I debut did. the Utah Spring Game for Pac-12 Network. Yes. How did that opportunity come to be, and what did you think of it? Um, I think one of the one of the like uh, football operations guys at Utah had reached out to me and asked me if if the Pac-12 offered, I, would I do it? I said, mm-hmm. yeah, of course. Let me tell you, I have a lot of respect for people that have, uh, like, you know, news reporters, all of it. Because that tell is us a, more, Terrell, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a hard job, and I definitely have a lot of respect, but it was fun. It was a lot of fun, and I definitely, uh, if I get the chance, I would do it again. Many I, years down the road, it's something oh, you can see yourself definitely. doing full-time? Many years down the road, as long as I can play football, as long yeah, as I can. Yeah, let me retire first. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. then, then keep going. Yeah, I, this, gotcha. I mean, are you excited just to get on the field, man? I oh, mean, okay. Saturday's coming. It's preseason. We know it's preseason, but are mm-hmm. you excited? To actually go out there and play? Yes, of course. Excited to get out there. It's been since, what, last October since I got a chance to go against a different team other than the practice the other day. So I'm excited to get out there in a game atmosphere with the fans in the stands and, and play the best of our abilities. I'm going to talk with DeMarco Farr a little bit more here in just a moment. For our uh, in-person audience, how about a round of applause to uh, Senator yeah. Alberta yeah. on his way? Yeah. Have a great yeah. evening and a uh, great season ahead. Thank you. All right, I'm going to have a great season. All right, let's talk a little bit about Ken. That was uh, the right answer. Yeah, I'm a yeah. team player. That's your, right. Uh, your takeaways from Isaac, your feelings oh. about his enshrinement, your speech, everything. I mean, you know, just uh, seeing Isaac, you, you know, number one, he doesn't change. He looks exactly the way he did as a rookie. The guy doesn't age. And just knowing him, you know, as a pro, watching him grow and realizing that he played 16 years and knowing how much and how competitive he is, and then finally seeing him up on stage with the gold jacket. I mean, it was emotional, man. It was. But it was cool. The speech was great. You know, you knew that fire was coming. Yeah. How do you like me now? Oh. What was your reaction? See, I mean, I laughed because he had said that before, but only in private. So if you didn't know anything about Isaac Bruce and you wanted to know what he was like as a player, you just saw it. You know what I mean? So you saw everything, that competitive fire, it all came out. It was awesome. Uh, Edger and James, that speech was phenomenal. When he said I went from gold teeth to gold jacket, I mean, that really got me here. And then uh, Big Steve Hutchinson. This is a monster. I mean, this is a guy that's been invented in some Stephen King book, you know, (laughs) that scares people. And to see him choke up when he talked about his his kids and his wife. I mean, come on, dude. I mean, that is what it's all about. The pro football, it gave you everything in a weekend. It was awesome. Well, welcome back. Thank you. It was a good time for you and your your great friends, the greatest show. On turf. Looking ahead to Saturday, you and I might not get a chance to talk between now and the preseason opener at SoFi, 7 p.m. against the Chargers. What will you be looking for when the Rams take the field in the preseason for the first time? You turning off your phone? You're not answering emails? <laughs> I plan to call you between that now and the game. No, I mean, I, you know, I, I in guess. In front of this audience. I guess the one thing is, and we said this earlier, that preseason memories, usually they're bad. So you want to get out of every game healthy, you know, with the guys that, you, that you're counting on in September. So that's number one. But number two, you know, some of these young guys that get long runs, that get a lot of reps in the game. You want to see them play well. You want to see them make as few mistakes, mistakes as possible because you know Raheem Morris or Sean McVay, they're not going to give anybody much to do. It's going to be base vanilla stuff, and let's see who can play football. So you hope guys just don't get that paralysis by analysis and sit because you're afraid to make a mistake. You know, go ahead. You know, go make a play. Let's see who can be instinctive. And... Let those young guys get reps, and I just hope everyone stays healthy at the same time. Yeah. All right, final day of Rams camp coming up tomorrow. Same time, we are planning to close out Rams camp here in Irvine with Sean McVay here on this stage. For DeMarco Farr, I'm J.B. Long. Thank you for tuning in for Rams Camp Live, presented by Unify Financial Credit Union.